All right, first things first, we are going to check the audio because it's still not recording audio. Uh oh, that's not good. Properties. That's really not good. Okay, there it is. So, we are back today. Last night, I was quite tired. And so I took it off and did some work on the YouTube, which is tiring in its own right, but can now be said to exist. Whether that's exciting to you or not, I don't really mind, because for the moment, I would prefer Twitch be the thing that takes off, but if YouTube ever does get a viewership, I'll be there. Also did a bunch of work on the channel stuff in general, so there's now actually stuff in the About Me section of things. And, yeah, a link to YouTube, because it's not so easy to find if you do want to check it out. Like, there's nothing exclusive on there, but if you're in the mood to watch my old stuff for some reason. It should be going on there in short order. Okay, let's see how this goes. So this is a boss we- oh dear. Oh, why do I have- do I have god mode on? Also, I forgot to disable Chi Chi. I won't use it. Okay. I didn't even see that rock pillar. This is going very poorly. But so far, there's nothing at all outrageous here. Oh, that spawned on top. Are there usually two of those things? I don't think there usually are. So I've improved this arena by adding candles, and I've made the one at the dungeon bigger because I don't fancy kiting the absurd-ass cultist over to the dungeon. Those things are definitely faster. Fuck. Yep, there's a ground pound. Oh, that spawned hunt. Spawned right as I went over there. Thankfully, we have a dodge, which is extremely helpful. Oh dear, we're out of flight time. So far this is manageable, but it is going to take a while. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. So those spawning on top of me is going to be a significant problem. I reckon. Or rather just like semi telefragging me. Let's 
So far, though, this feels like I can do it if I play well. Nothing, absolutely not. <laughs> All liable to change, though. Is... Oh, you... Oh, I knew that was going to happen. And I was playing around him, trying to hit me with his fist, and not really anticipating a pillar. Basically, it's the something is going to hit me before adrenaline. Let's predict wrong what something is going to hit me before adrenaline. Okay. There are a lot of these blue fireballs compared to what there normally are. So I need to be a bit more careful and maybe a bit faster in moving about the arena. The stomps are very fast, I need to be vigilant of those. Yeah, they're definitely getting a lot faster. And this is definitely making more lasers than on death mode. Fuck. Okay, now this is getting crazy. I hate those stone pillars. You do not get a lot of time to react to them. It's another thing that... I don't know if it is, but it... Really fuck. Feels like you get... Way less time to actually react to those than on death. Maybe they spawn closer or something. Didn't even see the missile there. Hello, Yarim. I've been killed by Ravager. Okay, let's give this another shot. Oh, you shit. Let's try the syringe. See if it's any better. Because we were using Phantom Lancers. But Phantom Lancers lose damage as they travel. So maybe the syringe will be better? Well, that unfortunately is not going to prove much about the utility of this weapon. I hate that it can damage you right when it spawns. What do you reckon? Do you think this is doing more damage than the Phantom Lances? <sighs> Come on, you piece of garbage. Like, I'm not doing anything particularly unreasonable, considering you're... It's not like I'm out of range of your attacks or anything of the sort. Yeah.
how I have to try to keep him a bit closer. It's thankfully, probably not going to be a concern later in the fight, because, you know, he's absurdly aggressive and very fast then. This isn't easy, but it's... Oh, I didn't even see that missile. Did not even see it. I hate the missiles, because they really don't have any tells other than you see it, and it's not particularly large and or lit up or anything. No, it doesn't make a sound. So it's very easy, at least for me, ugh, to get bounced. That was running out of flight time, by the way. I don't know if I got the adrenaline off. No, I didn't. Bad plays. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. I... That was so bad. Yeah, I don't... I'm... Not really sold on the syringe here, either. It's... I don't think it matters all that much, but... I... Oh, God, I hate this thing. God, I hate... Something I hate is that... There is no rebinding the in-game chat key in this game, as far as I can tell. So, unless I learn to use an entirely different control scheme, which is not so easy, I will always have to run the risk of just opening in-game chat and not jumping and losing adrenaline and... Etc., etc., things that are very significant. I have to. It's hard to do it at a distance, but these phantom lenses are better, I reckon, if you miss them slightly so that they release souls instead of just impacting for one hit. But, like I said, kind of tricky to do at a distance. Those pillars do not give you a lot of time to react, like, at all.
Okay. Hello, Ravager. Do me a favor and hasten on your shuffling off this mortal coil. Man, I could use better wings. I guess fish run ring wings would be marginally better. They're not a ton better than the Hadol Mandel, though. Oh, you're kidding me. That was such a bad panic. Like, I was perfectly safe there, dude. for the dodges. Don't know if the accessory is actually good, but the dodges are definitely helping. By the way, we've done like six percent of it. Oh, you're kidding me. Man, this thing's aggressive. throw. Yep, I threw. 22 seconds. Okay, we killed the Had. That'll help a little bit. Maybe. That was so bad. That was an accidental dash. That was so bad. That was a failed dash.
Okay. Okay, we did it. We did it. Scavenger Claw. Then actually better. Yeah? Yep. Yep, that is just better than the bat hook. So hard blood packed. Doubles max HP. And, um, uh, did we get. No flesh totem, huh? Am I crazy? Flesh totem. Not crafting. Uh, rash, rash totem? Flesh totem. Nope, no flesh totem. Um, okay. Modded treasure bags. Can we buy a ravager? Nope, burritos. Okie dokie. Mmm. Ugh. Oh, That's no bueno. That fight takes so long. That fight takes so long, chat. I. I just. Could have sworn Flesh Totem was guaranteed. Apparently not. Let's try cultists again. I have no illusions about how this is gonna go, though. And immediately getting hit by everything. Yep, immediately getting hit by everything. See. I have, if you look at my inventory, I have the, well, I'm gonna die, but. The cultist freezing attacks are ignoring. Yeah, this is not going to be a win. <sighs> I don't know why I'm getting frozen by cultist. I guess I could try... What I could try, perhaps. Okay, yeah. So I drink a warmth potion and it doesn't do anything because I already have the warmth buff. So... I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm really confused as to how cultists can freeze me. I should not be able to be frozen. Unless it legitimately just does. Ignore freeze protection, which is actually silly, in my opinion. Like, Oh, this is bad. Yep, this is awful. Oh, 
what do you reckon, chat? Do you reckon we give the old space rock a try, or perhaps give fish run a try? I would like to protest that particular hit. I don't know. I really don't. Because we need to beat this at some point. hate the lightning. The fact that it comes after those particular projectiles is disgusting. Oh, look, the fight's over, chat. <gasps> look at the 100 to 0 oh, that just happened. Going reasonably well until... How do you like not being able to do anything? Damn it. I 
tried. That was lag on the Rod of Discord selection. Or that was me not having run out the use time of my weapon yet. Could have been either. Up here's the Yeah, here comes a dragon. The problem is you can't or the problem with the dragons is you can't just run away from that attack. Which would ordinarily be a pretty good solution. This is it, chat. Fuck. Fuck. Didn't even see that one. Fuck. Okay, that was an okay attempt. Not good, but okay. Let's try Aureus once. I don't think it's gonna go well, though. Um... Okay, rum. Yes, please. And... What can we get for movement speed? You know what, let's try Fabsol's Vodka for the Aureus fight. And probably for the Fishron fight as well. So we're gonna try both Aureus and Fishron tonight, I think. 
breaking between the cultist deaths that are bound to happen. This is not at all a good spot to be in. Yeah, this one's a loss because I really flubbed and... Like... Yeah, there... I don't know how on earth you're supposed to avoid that. Now, it does not help that I was not using my weapon for a large portion of that. We'll use this from the hop bar. Yeah, see that is... That came from across the screen. I fully knew it was coming, and it still hit me. I couldn't rod out of that in time. And I was holding my rod. Like, this is absurd. I honestly don't know how you're meant to dodge this. Does Malice Mode nerf, um, what's it called? Fuck, I'm missing a word here. Asphalt. Or how heavily does Malice Mode nerf asphalt? Comments were barely doing damage to it now. And we're still in danger of being hit like this. And we're at the edge of the world. So, like, And it can still get up at us. It's not like we're safe.
And keep in mind that this is phase one when there are absolutely zero secondary projectiles. I have to get the angle down. Oh, Krivens! Well, that's GG. There's also, if I hit chat or dad. Okay. Not quite, but we're nearly dead. It's kind of sad that this, like, has merit in any way, shape, or form. Like, yeah, we need to get out of here. Because it can get us. Sorry, I'm not paying a ton of attention to chat because I actually need to be paying a lot of attention to just staying airborne right now. So, I'll get to you guys once I'm done. And you can miss your grapple like that, which could be game over. That's the other thing. We'll see how it behaves at daytime, but this might, like, actually be cheesable in this way. Which is kind of silly that I have to resort to cheese, but, like, you've seen how fast this thing is. The problem is I don't, if it doesn't play nice come daytime... I don't think this is going to kill it within... Every adrenaline is a risk, chat. So I'll get back to you guys. And see what you think of this idiocy. I've been working on the railroad all the live long night. That is, if it doesn't despawn when day comes, it might. In which case, I'm trying to think, we can get pillar weapons, I suppose, and come back. Because the thing is, this gets a buff when you kill Moon Lord. Which means we probably won't be killing it until at least post-Providence tier. 
if we can't kill it with pre-moon lord. But I reckon... Now that I've gotten a little better on the execution here... Oh god, we're... Yeah. It can get at us right now. Well, it's most certainly daytime. Okay, come on, Orius. <laughs> this... I can't imagine this is all that entertaining. Um, okay. Where's Aureus? God, this is not good. That miss on the grapples. Extremely bad. See? This is how you learn to fucking grappling hook in Terraria. You're gonna do it as well as you can when your life depends on it. When people think minecart cheese, I don't think this is what they think of. This is probably not very exciting to watch, but I will have you know... <laughs> it's horrible to play because... One mistake is all it takes here. Like, literally one mistake and the whole thing's over. Which is why I can't read chat. As much as I love you, chat. You're a bit distracting.
fucking hell. Okay, come on. One percent. One percent. Come on. Okay. Okay. Well. Everybody loves that way of killing Astromorius. <laughs> Did that actually take half an hour? No, right? Let's go try this on Cultist. Do you think it'll be good? Chad, this doesn't seem very good. No one else isn't very good. The frozen debuff. Yeah, this does not seem very good at all. Fuck, I didn't... I dashed there, but didn't go through. <sighs> okay, let's... Can we make a... No, we would need a truffle. Let's go give cultists a couple more tries. We won't have to bother with the aura radical throw, which is terrible, apparently. <laughs> like... You can try the stellar knife, though. If we get it. I don't think it'll be good, though. Not particularly, at any rate. Okay, cultists. I really need to learn my lesson about not fucking going. I don't actually know what's hit me there.
We're gonna get dragoned. Yeah, we're getting dragoned. Okay. I said I learned my lesson about... ...down on the fireballs, but I had no choice there. The dragon complicates things so much. So we're gonna need to figure out a way to... We have to get out of the ice balls. Uh, what, what, what is this Sky Island? I could have sworn I, wait. I removed that Sky Island. I will swear by it. I removed that Sky Island. Yeah, the platforms I put in are here, but the Sky Island is still there. And there are no candles. Wait, no, there are candles. Oh, that was so bad. Okay. God, that was such a bad flub on relocator. Not relocator, uh, rod, but it's, it's the same thing as flubbing relocator, really. That was so bad, I sh Stop. Coco, you can do this if you just concentrate. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay. So 
Sorry, I need to, like, actually breathe. And I'm gonna go... I'm gonna get down on the floor and stretch. <laughs> Take a drink. And I'll be back in, like, 90 seconds. All right, I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick too. Alright, we are we're back. Oh my god. I'm feeling like I'm still shaking a little bit. Shaking for a lunatic cultist is not exactly a good sign. But Yeah. So now, I forgot to charge this thing up, but it doesn't matter terribly. So now, do we need a specific fragment or anything for double constructs? No. We need stardust and meld blobs, which are from all pillar enemies. So let's go and fight some pillar stuff. We'll do vortex first for no particular reason really. I'm 
We can also check if we can do anything with Vortex Frags, or really all of the frags. Something we could make that we don't remotely have the stuff for is the Absorber. At least I think you can make it pre boom or if you really need it. Alright, keep going. Yeah, there's melt blobs. I don't know, I don't think we can make whatever they're called, Empyrean Wings or Exodus Wings. We might be able to, but those go with the Empyrean Armor, which is post-Moon Lord. Not sure we're gonna be getting to Moon Lord today, because we have like 40 minutes or so, 45 minutes to clear up the pillars. We'll see. How many blobs we have? Five. So with the blobs we can make... The Star of Destruction. Which I've used against Astrum Deus. Interestingly, I saw a YouTube video, I don't remember who made it. But it was... Using the Spiked Oracalcum Gemstone. With Stealth and Adrenaline to... Almost insta kill death mode Astrum Deus, which is crazy to me. And he then showed, well, under circumstances that would never happen, but he showed the possibility that it can even shred dog. If maybe if you play perfectly to the point where you're simulating the effects of dog mode. was certainly interesting. Alright, how are we doing on this pillar? Shield is still up. Since we can hang out nearby. There it is. Okie dokie. Um, we're gonna be going for like another. 
40-ish minutes of Terraria. We'll try to get through to Moon Lord with the pool today. Can't guarantee we're beating Moon Lord, but we did beat Cultist and Astrum Aureus. Astrum Aureus was, well, not exactly... Let's just say I cheesed it, kind of. So I basically just hooked to the minecart rail at the top of my world. So he largely couldn't get at me. In fairness, what the hell are you supposed to do when something charges you as fast as Malice Mode Astromoria is? Like, and I could get fish run wings and be a little faster. I could go full mobility on my loadout, but... Like, it was not... As the time shows that you are getting hit when you notice it on the minimap. That's the type of speed we're talking. Drop all of your meld blobs for me. It's interesting that I've never really... I don't think I've ever seen the... Um seen the alien queens really get anywhere multiplying except in vanilla when I'm trying to kill the pillars of like a mega shark or something because you really can just basically skip almost everything after Plantera if you really want to in vanilla like, neither Golem nor Cultist is actually difficult, so you realistically can get to the Pillars of a Mega Shark. I've done it, and it's actually pretty painful. I did it in the Lunatic mo Mod playthrough that is now lost to the sands of time. As so much stuff is, regrettably. And it's only now, actually, that I have a YouTube where VODs are archived. It's only just today sprung into being at all. Uh, not Nebula. Um, somehow it's, my brain is still in... Meld blobs are nebula fragments and hallowed bars mode. <laughs> Anyone remember those days? Okay. So now, meld construct. So what can we do with these? So we can craft the Exodus Wings or Lumina. Yep. Shard of Entumbra. Entropic Claymores Melee. Luminous Striker. Um. Star of Destruction. And can we do anything with our Vortex Fragments right now? Vortex Fragments. I'm gonna guess maybe, maybe not. Um, that's... not looking like it. Unless we can craft something with these pre-Moon Lord, which I doubt. Yeah, nothing here is pre-Moon Lord that's rogue. 
So it's basically this, this, and this. Can we craft anything with these? No. Yep. Okay. A dark god's sheep. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, mobile stealth accelerates while not attacking self strikes. Requires the ruin medallion and meld construct. So, it's a good question. Is the Dark God Chiefs better than this? Or maybe better than Vampiric Talisman or Glove of Recklessness? Suppose if we're going for stealth, we would be replacing Glove of Recklessness. But if we're not going for stealth, that's probably still a somewhat subpar? Not subpar. Not something we're terribly interested in. Radiant Star. So we could try Astrum Deus now. It would be an interesting decision. So we're just going to craft this Star of Destruction. Probably get rid of the... these things. This is what I remember it being it. Well, what I used with the... to do Astrum Deus when I've done Rogue in the past. And then I used... Yeah, it's coming back to me. So, I do Astrum Deus with this, and then I would do Moon Lord with... It wouldn't need to be a choice if I... Yeah. Well, I'm not really into... I'm not into mods that just buff the player. Like, not even wing slot, for instance. <laughs> and, like, as far as... I'm leery even of using non-calamity potions. So... What else was they making? I think there was another weapon along the line of... Was it... I'm trying to get the right name for this weapon. A uh, Luminous Striker. I was close, it was something Striker. And Stellar Striker is an actual weapon. So Luminous Striker requires... Spear of Paleolith, which is... Something we can do, I think? Close. Forbidden Fragment. And let's go get ourselves... Guess we're going to the Stardust Pillar, which is... Ocean. We're close-ish to the ocean. So let's go... Did you see? Yeah, I can see it. Did you see... Speaking of Astrum Deus, did you see the fascinating video by a person whose name I've forgotten of basically one-shotting Astrum Deus with the Orichalcum Spiked Gemstone on death mode? I wonder if that would apply to Malice Mode. You do need an Adrenaline. And Stealth, which ain't that hard and needs to be a well-placed shot. Also, Mr. Ilord X, maybe you heard me, maybe you didn't, but... The YouTube has finally, like, I don't know, struck Earth and started to become a reality, even though it's just a VOD dump. I finally managed to get all of the surprising number of technical difficulties and sorted out, as well as overcome by awful internet. 
Did you know, by the way, that YouTube's editor does not allow you to split a video into two separate parts? Like, what a joke. Or Calcum Armor is cool. I know a lot of people like it. I'm... It's kind of been put out of a job by Calamity to an extent, but not really. Like, if you're... Just because you get titanium, and for what it's worth, as nice as our Calcum Armor is, titanium armor is stupid. I don't know about Malice Bow because I haven't played a class that uses it. But it's stupid strong even on death mode. <laughs> if a boss is allowed to be a bullet hell, I'm allowed to be a bullet hell. <laughs> if only. It would certainly have helped in certain situations. Like, I'm sure Destroyer is none too competent at dodging bullet hells. Also, we have Ultimate Peaceful, and I was wondering why nothing was spawning. Also, we need to be very careful about if we're going to do the tried-and-true Stardust Cell method. Be careful about not stealth striking them, too. Oh dear, my... Okay, didn't quite kill them all. Oh, it died. God damn it. Stupid cells. Die. Don't die, I mean. I would prefer if you refrained from dying. At least not 100% of you. How many of these... Do we have the fragments yet? No, we don't, even... Let's just kill the pillar while we're here. There's no reason not to. So maybe I'll attempt Deus today. I don't know. One of Deus or Moonlord will get some serious attempting. Also, that... That one in particular looks like a real start of cell to me for some reason. Um... I'm doing pretty good, actually. We finally managed to get around Astrum Aureus by... Basically by grappling to a minecart rail for about 15 minutes and shooting down at it. So that it largely could not get us with the charges. And then Lunatic Cultist, which was more interesting and had me shaken. <laughs> Because I really tremble and sweat and shake when I'm about to kill a really hard boss. <laughs> and I will get down on the floor and stretch sometimes. Like, after the fight. Which I did for Cultus, because... Oh boy, Cultus was nasty. In particular, he had freeze... Oh, you have no sound right now? Um... Let's have a look at OBS, then. No in-game sound or no sound on the whole of things? Because I checked... Oh, I saved and exited. exited. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to Magic Mirror. But... No in-game sound would be concerning. Okay, so it's probably just no sound on the whole of things. And I'll have to check it again, because...
Um, okay, there does appear to be sound. Or in-game sound. Oh dear, I can't imagine if all... It wouldn't actually be that bad if all my mods started working, but stopped working, but I suspect I would get one or two of the quality of life ones. Cause I, well, I play one mod at a time. <laughs> I used to play a lot of Calamity and Thorium together, but then I realized that Calamity, for better or worse, mostly exists in a field of its own, balance-wise. And while that's less true nowadays, because they did nerf the post-Moonlord stuff, this is the Phantom Lance. It spawns homing souls as it travels. It has... Well, it's a consumable, but I've got an infinite stack because I made a thousand, and we all know a thousand is an infinite stack these days. And it's been very helpful. It's not one I've ever used, because what I'd normally do playing Rogue is I would get the Stellar Knife from Astral Creatures after killing Aureus, but Aureus proves to be such a problem that I had to look to alternatives, and this has been... A very competent one. I would love if Thorium had their own difficulty, their own higher difficulty. That would definitely be nice. Because really, the truth about Thorium is that the hard bosses in Thorium for me are Star Scouter and Ragnarok. The rest of them are fairly easy. They're fun, but fairly easy. I... I might play some Thorium again. I did Healer. I think that might have been the last thing I did before coming back. Yeah. Master Mode should have been so much more, definitely. But... Thorium Healer was the last thing I did before coming back to Calamity, and I will confess I was mighty stuck at Ragnarok for a while, but it was also Healer, so... Even stronger AI new moves, like... I mean, I definitely wish they had... Knowing as... Knowing they're probably very aware of Calamity and whatnot, I wish they had just taken a few cues from, like, Revengeance mode and stuff. They don't have to copy it outright, but, like, when I think of what Master Mode should have been, the first boss I think of, Calamity-wise, is Skeletron Prime. Because <laughs> even on Master Mode, if you're playing vanilla, you kill the laser arm and Prime is helpless, pretty much. Which is not at all the case on Death Mode or Revengeance Plus. The, the other arms do dangerous things, and the head does dangerous things when the arms have been knocked off. The healing is the Vampiric Talisman. Not the Phantom Lance. So it's 11.42, I'm not quite sure we're going to have time to do all of the pillars in Moonlord. But we can definitely try Astrum Dias, which means we're going to have to clear up Solar Pillar, oh dear. It's the only time in the history of Terraria. Okay, have a good one, Streak Void. It's the only time in the history of Terraria I wish, wished the Nebula Pillar was anywhere. It's 
Nebula Pillar is the second worst one. Can you just die already, Stardust Pillar? You're proving rather time consuming. It's like I'm not gonna farm cells because like there's enough stuff spawning. And then there's not enough stuff spawning. I really should look into a mod that would give these pillars a bar so that I know just how long we're still in purgatory for. <laughs> Does, is there a single person in the world who gen who genuinely likes the pillars in their entirety. I think it would actually be fairly cool if... you killed... I don't know, 50 of these enemies, but not 150 or whatever it is. Maybe even something like 40. Or maybe have it be a sort of mini boss or pseudo old ones army event. Maybe not that, but have it be something where you actually have to survive for a period of time. Like, you come here, you activate the pillar, and the shield will go, go down and you have to survive, like, I don't know, three minutes or five minutes or something like that. That seems like it'd be way cooler than... Hey, just kill a million things that... With the exception of the ne Well, actually, kind of the Nebula Pillar, too, but... Mostly with the exception of the Solar Pillar, aren't all that dangerous. Once you get the hang of dealing with them. Alright. So now we can make this weapon. Well, Spear of Paleolith, too. Spear of Paleolith. And... Striker. Probably over the syringe. Interesting. That looks a little different than I remember, but does what I remember. Surprise an entire shield feature. There's like a very small amount of shield stuff in vanilla that 
if I'm not mistaken, is entirely locked behind Old One's army and thus... For my purposes, might as well not exist. <laughs> okay. Let's... Shall we do the meme, chat? Or attempt to do the meme? So let's get a thousand of these. And we shall see if this actually works. <laughs> I don't actually recall quite how it was pulled off. Oh yeah, uh, Solar Pillar still exists. We'll clean it up because we do need to actually get an adrenaline. So we'll want the biggest arena we can have. Which is this one. Yep. Um, are we missing any adrenaline buffs? I don't think so. We have... I think that's the crab one, and this one is the Aureus one. Or is that... Hold up. Oh wait, no, the crab is rage, isn't it? So adrenaline is slime god in Aureus. If I'm remembering correctly. And Rage is Crab and Ravager. And we'll want to have Rage too. Which we're just maybe going to have by the end of the Solar Pillar. Well, we've escaped with surprisingly little face bopping so far, but that's subject to change. I don't know. I really don't know if deflecting projectiles would be allowed. Though... I'm not really all that entrenched or all that knowledgeable about the no-hitting community, because I will never be one and I don't want to feel bad about myself. <laughs> Where are the Kraltipedes? Hold up. Surely I wouldn't have. But I do occasionally do it for purposes. Because you can disable specific enemies in Cheat Sheet, but no, I have not disabled Kraltipedes. A very strict time frame. Yeah, maybe. Can you imagine being the person who spends their life doing true... Okay, like, I'm gonna just put it out there. Imagine being someone who does true melee no-hits on, like, ballast mode or something, and you... You know, probably spend hours upon hours of practicing these things. And then you release the video on YouTube and it gets like 2,000 views or something. And that seems like a lot. But 2,000 views, I, I don't think makes you a living. So you have to make a living and you have to do the no hit. Like, that 
just... I mean, it's your life, but... That's dedication right there. Alright, Solar Filler, you need to hurry up and die. It's 11.53. <laughs> also, I Lord X. I don't know if you particularly care, but... Got made some lovely new changes to the About section that... Is that the first Crawl Defeat we've seen? It would, because now that YouTube kind of exists, would have felt weird to just have a link there and no context otherwise. I was wondering, or what I was kind of wondering is, does it look good on dark mode? Give it directional aim. Oh god, yes. <laughs> like... And they've already done it for the short swords. <laughs> Just... Broad swords... Like, you're... You swing them over your head like a barbarian every time. There we go, okay. There goes the pillar. Well, the pillar's starting to go. This might actually be the easiest solar pillar I've ever dealt with. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> Just because they, you know, the images do have a fairly white background. So, figured I'd ask. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to say sayonara to these lovely individuals and we're gonna need our astral beacon. Thank god it can be replaced or can be moved. And now we're going to try the Oracalcum Spiked Meme Stone. And see if it works on Malice. Once we take care of our friend here. Oh dear. Uh... Christ. Not gonna get work if we get hit out the gate. So let's see how much damage it does. Oh. Rich of me to assume I'm getting the adrenaline. What is that?
Okay, well... That certainly did... a good chunk to it. Yeah. It's because maybe it's not true anymore. But it was because at some point I had difficulty with it, um... Using potions from infinite stacks. That is, stacks of 30. As if they were not infinite while the potions were in the piggy bag. So if I... Though I suppose I could just never hit B. Okay, come here. Oh, I didn't have stealth, did I? Yeah, I need to actually get a stealth strike. Shit. So I need to not be attacking. Or did it just take no damage because it's daytime? Might have just taken no damage because it's daytime. Okay, but this seems actually fairly feasible. Which means it's going to get removed or nerfed somehow. Like. Do we have a stealth for it now? Let's assume I do. Yeah, you have to be... Huh. Well, this is definitely feasible, but you have to be pretty spot on with the shot, I reckon to actually one-tap it. Like, you really need to connect it purple. I don't know. I guess I could look. It's probably a thing you actually have to enable. I heard the stealth sound there, though, so I know I have stealth. Now, I don't know if I'm getting Adrenaline versus the Double Worm phase. So maybe I should just try Star of Destruction in them. I'll try getting an Adrenaline, though. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it against the Double Worms. So let's just Star of Destruction them. This still does decent enough damage. Like, this is not doing negligible damage. So, the verdict on this is definitely possible, but you need to be pretty damn precise. <laughs> At least on Malice mode. You know, I suppose you're right. There's absolutely nothing stopping me from abusing the stealth effect.
Am I stealthed? Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's crazy. <laughs> Apparently that was not stealthed. Even though I heard the stealth sound, I guess I missed one? Yeah, I know. Okay, yeah, you have to... Yeah, you need to connect solidly with this. Did that do, like... Did that do 60% or so to it? That did a full 7% and that wasn't even that good of a hit. By the way, you definitely want not glove of recklessness for this fight. Ten percent left on one. That was largely wasted. You need to be careful, though. Because I'm trying too hard to get good shots, and not hard enough to actually dodge the heads while they're close by. Yeah. Okay, this is doable. 12.06. We can give it one more try. Because I reckon we do that if we, instead of... Um, what's it called? If we go for this. Because we're just losing 10% damage. So I reckon, also we're getting an inaccuracy penalty here, so yeah, doing that with Glove of Recklessness was really bad, actually. The other thing that we could do, since we want to make it anyway, Dark. Can we make this chief right now? We need a ruin medallion. Ruin medallion. What do we need? We need unholy core. And I think the old co coin of deceit is that. We actually know where to get that. We need chardor. Fuck. I don't want to go get that. No, you don't. Buy it from the bandit. Okay, I will... Let's just give it another shot. We do have another Titan Heart, right? We do. Okay. So let's head on over. And... This one should be better. Because... We... 
will have what should we call it? We will have a pretty significant increase to the damage that each hit does. Cause I reckon this is better than just peppering it with bullets. Okay. Well, we immediately lost the adrenaline. I'm gonna try to try to get rage and adrenaline on the first phase, maybe. Remember, the adrenaline is building up very slowly. Cause I wanted to try for a one shot, even though we're probably gonna miss. <laughs> Knowing me, I'm gonna miss. Okay, the rage is just. We're just losing all the rage, so... Yeah, I don't think we're actually going to be able to get rage here, because... Yeah, that was like 25%. Because we actually have to be near Astrum Dias, but Astrum Dias is not particularly fond of our companionship. Because he sort of hovers in and out. So it's going to be tricky to line up Rage plus Adrenaline here. So I'll just take good shots with adrenaline while I have him. Okay. So we have stealth. And adrenaline. We'll just finish off the first form because it doesn't matter though. Okay, there we go. So now... We unfortunately landed that while it was invulnerable directly after spawning. Oh boy, I was lucky there. Okay. So adrenaline, we will pop. For adrenaline, that was not actually amazing damage. Kind of expecting it to be more adrenaline. Come on. Fuck. This would be way more potent with Dark God Sheaf, I reckon. So we'd actually get stealth strikes fairly quickly. Instead of having to wait quite a while for them, like we do right now. Not a good shot there.
that was, though. Do they not have stealth there? Or do I just barely connect any? Let's wait for it to be fairly good shot. Yeah, that was solid. That did a solid like 11% or so. Okay. Ah, oh, Crivens. You know what? That's... This is doable. But I kind of want to go play Reborn, so... I'm gonna go let the puppy out. And then... We'll do Reborn. Stop recording.